Hey guys, this is the wow nerdy part of the LOD crew. We're not really LOD recording right now, but when it comes to Ben 10, both of us are nerdy about it. Yeah, pretty much. So, well, Ben 10, the first Ben 10 series, like the classic one, came out in 2005. That was basically when I was like five years old. I was, um, I was a one when that came out, so you, you were one? You, <laughs> you couldn't, oh my god. Alright, I was basically eight when it ended, wait. Like, when I was, like, growing up, like, Alien Force was, like, so, like, the, like, I got. Wait, is Goodbye and Good Riddance the last, like, episode of Ben 10? Like Ben 10 in season 4 or episode 13. No, oh, there, there's 10 episodes in, in the season 4. There's 10 episodes? But why, why is it saying episode 13? Wow, that's confusing. What the? What are you saying on the wiki? Yeah, um, I have researched stuff about the Ben 10 series. And uh, good, oh, bad, good, 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 What? Yeah, I think that's probably um, Secret of the Omnitor. I think that's why. Because some because the wiki says that it's part of um season four. Yeah, what when the new like the old series aired, I was I wasn't I didn't I didn't really watch it at, when I was five, obviously. I I started watching it when I was like eight or seven. Yeah. Around that same age, yeah. Same point. Basically, when the series ended, because uh, th at 2008 was uh, probably the last classic series episode air date. Yeah, I started. I started. Yeah, I started getting into Ben 10 when um, Alien Force was starting up. The last one, I was like starting to get into it. At first, I wasn't and really interested in that. Oh. I mean, it didn't really have the like. Wait. The classic Omnitrix design. I mean, in the first episode, it did, but yeah, we won't be talking about like Alien Force just yet because it, it's just tattered. There's a lot of things to talk about. Classic. Yeah. Wait, is it true that Ben met Julie in the classic, or is that just a fan thing? No, that's definitely, that's definitely a fan thing. There's no no universe that I know that. Yeah, because I've seen like an edit of it, and I probably just... It would be nice if we met Julie instead of Kai. Yeah, like, she's, she's really, like, toxic for Ben. Like, cause like, in like, her, all of her screen time in Omniverse, like, they get into like, fights, they get into arguments, and it's... And for some reason, like, the writers just wanted Ben to end up with Kai instead of Julie and make up that whole breakup thing over the phone. We'll talk about the Omniverse thing when we get to Omniverse. That's a whole other story. Omniverse, who was your favorite alien like before season one ended? Uh, season one of Alien? Of, um, or classic? Classic, yeah, we're currently talking about classic. Um, I'd say. Uh, Either he, he blasts or forms. Dude, why are those two the famous ones among the classic set of aliens? Yeah, they, they, they were the they're fan favorites. I mean, like I mean, forms, Diamond Head, those guys are like. Dude, Diamond Head was like awesome when I was a kid. Yeah, I think Diamond Head is also a fan favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, like, I'm pretty sure this was everyone when they were a kid. They wish they had that watch when they were 10 and they just acted like Ben when they were 10. I was, I acted like Ben when I was 10. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of Ben 10 fans do that, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that there's been one time where they had a toy on the tricks and they were just pretending to be Ben, like fighting aliens and stuff. Like, it, it was definitely something that we all did at one time. 
Yeah, well, I mean, like, my goal is definitely to get the, like, race against the race against time armatrix and just wear it. Ben already knows this, but I'm telling the viewers this. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really awesome armatrix. It's probably the best armatrix design ever. Yeah, yeah, design, design, yeah. yeah. So, season two came out. What? Six. Oh, 2006. The, wait, what? Oh, that's Alien Force. Why did I just get up with Alien Force when I said Ben 10? No, that, no, that, no, season two, season two of Alien. Oh, uh, season two of Classic was 2006. Wait, so, but it's the season one ended in 2000. Eight. Uh, wait. Unless the series in total finished in 2008, and this whole wiki thing is wrong. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it probably finished in 2008. Yeah, it finished in 2008. So, I mean, the, the like the my favorite episode in season two is probably. Yeah, you can check that. I don't know about much episodes because I haven't watched it. I might watch it again. I have the series collection and uh, my bag. Oh, DVD bag. Do you collect them? Well, DVD wise. Uh, no. No, like if I wanna buy, if I wanna get one, I'll just buy it like digitally. Uh, why don't you just wanna like buy it just to display it or something? No, I I'd, I'd rather do that for like the toy on the trip too. Like, uh. And yeah, there's like the the replicas are like still like the Benton Race Against Time and the Alien Force and. That's all I saw in Etsy. I mean, in season two, episode four, Gwen Ten was a bit disappointing in my opinion. Season four? Not season four. Uh, season two, episode four. It was aired in two thousand and six. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was. I mean, it was not. It was not canon. So. When I mean. As much as I like Gwen having something, but I think Gwen should just stay with the magical stuff. Yeah, because the reason why they made the reason why they made that episode was because the fans wanted to know what would happen if Gwen got the Omnitrix instead of Ben. So yeah, they wanted it. I mean Gwen would definitely be more responsible than Ben at the start. Because Ben was a record to the start. I mean she was I mean she was better at using the Omnitrix than Ben. Like as soon as like when she turned into heat blast and she made her name in the sky, Ben literally said that it took him like like months to do that, and she did it like off the floor. Like, isn't that what the season where Ghost Freak came out of the Omnitrix? Yeah, because he has his own con um, consciousness inside of the Omnitrix, and he was like you could literally see it when in times where Ben became Ghost Freak. There have been times where, like, you could, like, see, like, Zuskier trying to, like, control Ben. And, uh, and then, when that episode came, he escaped. Yeah, apparently his name is now Zuskier. That's... Omniverse has a lot of, like, confusing stuff. Yeah, I mean, Omniverse, like, one of the things is that they made, um, Destroy All Aliens. You know that, you know that, um, the movie, Destroy All Aliens? Yeah, I've watched it a lot of times. Yeah, it, they said that the movie was non-canon, but because of Omniverse existing, it's now canon, which contradicts so many things in the earlier shows. In the movie, it says that like it showed Gwen doing like tracking spells, but in Alien Force, she said that she's never done a tracking spell. Like it's it's just so contradictory. Like what? Like if it's canon, like what? I wonder what the timeline is that the Benton timeline. Oh, where the Dressonia alien fits. It, it, it definitely takes place after season 4 of Classic Destroy Aliens. And then we also got um, Retaliator, who was confirmed to, uh, and was shown to be Asma's dad, who looked younger than him, which is weird. He never showed up in Alien Force or the, any other s series. Yeah, he only showed up in that movie. Which doesn't make sense. Yeah, because the movie was meant to be non-canon, but because of Omniverse, it is. 
I mean, like, look at it. I think, well, I think the first season fina finale was really good. Um, classic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Especially when Ben was like, when Ben was running out of the ship and he just turns into heat blast mid run. That was, I felt like yeah, that, that was yeah, amazing. That yeah, that was, yeah, that was awesome. I recreated it even in my own form. Yeah, yeah I saw it. 